Hi, it's Connecticut personal injury attorney Ryan McKean here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the five dirtiest tricks played by State Farm Insurance Company. Now, around here, if you've watched this YouTube channel, you know I love to call State Farm Snake Farm. That's what they are. They are a snake farm, a pit of vipers that you are dealing with. But they run the same playbook over and over and over again. And so here are some of the five uh, tricks that they like to play. The first thing that they like to do is they like not to return calls. Uh, because why do they do this? They like to frustrate you. They like to make you think that you don't have a claim, that you'll just go away, that you'll give up. Um, and they know it because it works. Uh, there are so many people out there, they're not gonna go on YouTube, they're not gonna call a lawyer. Uh, they think maybe if I call the insurance company, I'll get quick money, they'll help me out and it'll be over. And when that doesn't happen, they move on, they get distracted. Uh, so not returning phone calls is definitely a trick. The second thing that they may try to get you to do is they may try to get you to sign a release real fast um, because they know that if you get a lawyer, they end up paying three and a half times than if you don't have a lawyer. So they may offer you a little bit of money, maybe a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. And what they want you to sign is they want you to sign a release. Why do they want you to sign a release? Because once you've released them, you have no claims against them. So three, four months down the road, you find out you need a surgery, they're gonna come back and they're gonna say, hey, you signed this release, and you're gonna say, well, I didn't know about the surgery at the time, I didn't intend to do this. Um, and they're gonna to say, too bad, so sad, you signed the release, and they're gonna be right. It is legally binding upon them. You know, the third thing that they like to do, and you know, I don't know whether or not this is a trick or not, but it's a pattern with them. They say, well, you know, we need to talk to our insured before we can get you in a rental car or we can get you in this. And you may be saying, look, the, the police report clearly shows that your, your insured was at fault. Um, and what they're trying to do is just delay things um, to make things more frustrating for you. Again, uh, so it is that you give up um, and you go away. Um, Another thing that they like to do, and this is like a four trick, and sometimes they like to uh, be your friend and they like to make, a, make you think that, oh, they're on your side and they're going to help you. And in fact, they are never on your side. You are dealing with, you may be dealing with a nice person. The adjuster may be nice. Not all, not all of them are snakes. The company is snake farm. The individual person may be nice. Um, but what they're trying to do is build trust with you. They're trying to keep you from understanding your rights, what their obligations are. Why are they doing it? They don't like you. They don't care about you. They're trying to make as much money as possible. And really the fifth thing that they do, I call it the more information trap. They always want more information. So you say, okay, I went to the emergency room, I went to a physical therapist, I went to my primary care doctor, and they say, oh, uh, well, 11 years ago it says uh, you went to an orthopedist, we want those records, and oh, we want all of your primary care records. And you're like, well, you know, the time I had an upset stomach, that doesn't have anything to do with my back. Um, and they want you to sign a release so they can go digging through your medical records, things that they're not entitled to, uh, at least in Connecticut, to try to get information on you to get you to compromise your claim. Maybe there are things in the medical records that you don't want other people to know. Um, maybe they can use things against you that they otherwise legally couldn't. So getting you to sign that release is really one of the, uh, the dirty tricks that they try to play. At least here in Connecticut, you don't have to do that. If you're making a claim, you've got to give them accident-related medical records, period. And what that may mean is there could be information in medical records uh, that, you know, that you went to get treatment for that are unrelated. Um, so it may have, for example, a psych history or something like that. You're not saying that this is psychological damage. You're saying, hey, I hurt my shoulder, I hurt my back. So we may have to go forward and redact those records. So, and some, those are really five dirty tricks that are played by Snake Farm, I mean State Farm uh, Insurance Company. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call, 860-471-8333.